the same old Christian doctrine, man. Give me the next one about your boy Kirk Franklin. Oh, Lord. You brought Kirk, Kirk done Franklin done. up there attacking marriage. Uh, what? Oh, oh, come on. Give me that man. next one uh, on Kirk Franklin, man. Kirk Franklin says that when you, you weaponize marriage, we, we use the w- w- word marriage to weaponize, to destroy people. Y'all uh, got that one? All right, play that. I believe that marriage has been weaponized in Western Christianity. Giving has been weaponized in Western Christianity. Sexuality Mm. has been weaponized. For example, any woman listening to this can attest in our culture. Don't be no 30, 35 year old single black woman and go to the family reunion. All the older women are gonna do nothing, they're gonna look at you and wonder why you would not marry. Where your man at? Where your kids at? Like it's a prerequisite for identity and value, that if you don't have a man, if you don't have kids, that something about you is broken. Mm. Bob, do you understand? Well, according to the scriptures, the, the woman is. was put here for the man. Right, right. The right. woman was put here Cocaine's for the man. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. That, that's her job, is to get married. Right. That's her job. We read it earlier. Give it to me again. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. Then give me that scripture in Tobit. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. Huh? Bring it out. I would therefore that the younger women marry. So yeah, if you show up at the cookout, <laughs> you 40, would not know a husband with three children. Yes, it's, it's pitiful. It looks bad. It looks horrible. <laughs> it looks bad. Read it again. I would therefore that the younger women marry. Huh? Bear children. Uh-huh. God the house. God said the younger women should marry. You ain't speaking out against boyfriend, girlfriend, Kirk Franklin. Mm-hmm. You ain't speaking out against homosexuality. Right. He's advocating you, for that. Yeah, he, he, right. You, you, you right. actually advocating for yeah. single mothers. Mm-hmm. Right. You're turning our women into whores, Kirk Franklin. You say being a whore is okay. That's what you're saying. When you when marriage is honorable according to the That's Bible. Right. Give me that in Hebrews 13 and 4. Did we finish that? Mm-mm. Read again. Read again. I'm sorry. Nag I would therefore that the younger women marry. This is God speaking right here. That he rather the younger women marry. Read. Bad children. Bad children. Read. God the house. Uh-huh. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Now he was saying that folks were speaking reproachfully about these women, right? right. God say don't give them that reason. But get married. Bad children. Right. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Uh-huh. Marriage is honorable in all. God say marriage. Well, so what are you talking about? Weaponizing. Mm. Weaponizing it. It's honorable. It's an honorable thing right. for the be married. Right. right. Read on. And the bed undefiled. And your bed will be undefiled because for one thing about I know about our women, they getting in the bed. Yep. You, they oh, gonna yeah. get in the bed, and if you ain't married, you defile. Right. We read the scripture earlier that if ain't nothing gonna end in the kingdom of heaven if it's defile. Read on. But uh-huh. whoremongers. But if you ain't married, you eat a whoremonger. Read. And adulterers. And adultery. God will judge. You gonna be judged. You gonna be judged. So what's wrong with saying you need to get married? Nothing. What's wrong? God say get married. That's what God say. Go back to the video. Go back to the video. Play on. It's broken. Mm. Oh, oh. Do you go? Can you go back a little bit? All right, play that. I play the end out you that if you don't have a man, if you don't have kids, that something about you is broken. Mm. Do you understand how dysfunctional these messages are? Yeah. And how we super spiritualize these messages. Paul said, but marriage is a necessary distraction. Paul. Oh, when Paul said that? I don't know. Who you said that? I believe what, he what made scripture that up. What scripture yeah. that? I believe he made you that said up. Paul that. said marriage is a necessary that's distraction. The new made up version. Yeah. He didn't say that. I don't know what I'm saying that. That's from his own Paul, give, me, give me that. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and, and, and 1. 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Huh? Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, mm-hmm. it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Now, what Paul was saying is if you want to remain unmarried and not having sex, right. though, for you can do the will of the Lord. Right. If you're not married, you're supposed to be doing more works, more works for the Lord. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> Read on. 
Nevertheless, mm -hmm. to avoid fornication. But he said to avoid fornication. He ain't telling not to fornicate. Is Kirk Franklin saying don't fornicate? No, no not at all. No, no. no. Not you, at all. you're saying don't get married. Mm. That's what you're saying, Kirk Franklin. But how in hell are we going to take advice from a man that shake his ass and heels? Mm. You shake your ass and heels, Damn. Kirk Franklin. You make yes, you naked. do. And you yeah. made and music you told naked. The world. Yeah. And you Why told you tell the world yeah. that? We're not listening yeah. to that guy. You're gay. We're not finna listen to this prophet. We're not finna listen to this prophet here, like the scriptures say <laughs> in Deuteronomy 13. Right, right. Probably right. went to some Diddy parties. And I'm sure you was in the Diddy party. Diddy bopping. <laughs> you was in the back <laughs> room. <laughs> Swallowed. He, he RSVP <laughs> to be the Swallowed up. Have you ever been <laughs> saying no Diddy? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, read that, read that again. Verse 2. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, uh -huh. to avoid fornication, uh -huh. let every man have his own wife. Read. And let every woman have her own husband. You hear that? To avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and you. every woman her own husband. Read on. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. Now, then you can do due benevolence right, right there. You. Okay. you know what I'm saying? But what Kirk Franklin saying, you can do but do benevolence and not be married. That's mm. death, Kirk. Right, right. I don't know what Bible you not reading, Kirk. Yeah, you promoting sin, Kirk. You promoting sin with that garbage. And you standing up so so faithfully oh, to boldly. it. Here. Right. Boldly Bold. speaking. Yeah. Boldly speaking. Go back to the video. Come on. Necessary distraction. Mm. I have many friends that, that, that were in ministry at church, and the church has told them, if you're going to be in ministry, you can't be single. We're not going to let you work with the youth ministry if you're single. You can't do this. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Watch this. Give me that in Titus 2. Give me that in Titus 2. Bring it out. Now, we know Christianity is idolatry. I'm just saying. But when you start attacking the law of marriage. Oh, we got to say something about that. You attacking marriage, bro. He attacking marriage. He's saying you ain't got to be married. God loves you. But God do love you, but you can't be breaking his laws. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he, he, gonna, he not going to love you. God don't love no sinners. <laughs> Matter of fact, the scripture say he hates sinners. Hold it, hold it, get that, because they're going to say, you got they're going to say I'm, they gonna to say I'm lying. Yep, you what is that, uh, for, uh, Ciroc? Give me that in Ciroc. 12 and 6. Yeah, yeah. Give, uh, is, it, is it 12? Mm -hmm. 12 and 6, I think. Okay, That's give it. me that. Give me that Ciroc, 12 and 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6. Uh -huh. it for the most high hated sinners. Oh, the scripture <laughs> say the most high hates sinners. Because the first thing you're going to, you know, oh, well, God do love us, right? Read it again. For the most high hated sinners. That's what God said. The most high hates sinners. Read on. Is that it? And we'll repay vengeance unto the ungodly. And he gonna repay vengeance to you. You show up, you can show up at the at the at the uh at the at the party all you want. Mm -hmm. Single. And you know when a woman says she's single, that means she's getting railroaded. Damn. Damn. She's getting railroaded Damn. back at the ranch. You know, <laughs> getting destroyed, back destroyed, back getting rearranged. <laughs> <laughs> rearranged. <laughs> That's the truth. I lie not. <laughs> Go back to the video, man. Come on. Single, and so what people do, they quickly get married, thinking that they're fulfilling God's will for their lives. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, he said they quickly, what people do, they quickly get married, fulfilling God's will. What is God's will? Give me that in uh, sub 40. Wow. 40 and 8. What is God's will? This guy, man, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this dude bro, I tell you, these Christians, bro. Ain't, one ain't nothing more evil than a Christian. Read that. Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. Uh -huh. I delight to do thy will. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. The will of God is his laws. What, what is a law? <laughs> marriage is a law. Right. right. Marriage is a law. It's honorable to mm. get married. It's a law. It's a law of God. So guess what? When you do the will of God, if you're you going to get married. Right. Because that's a law. 
You know, it's crazy how <laughs> this brother can come on here on this podcast and and say the things that he's saying, right? Mm -hmm. But he was married when he was 26. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's been married since he was 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Young man. Young man. Mm -hmm. Huh. I get it. I, 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 I'm confused. Make it make sense. He's going against right. everything that he actually did. Mm -hmm. Right. You know why he's doing that? Because <laughs> all these churches are full of women. Yeah. yeah. And he want to keep his, his money. money. Yep. He want to keep right. that money coming. Yeah. Yep. I'm saying, women. think about it now. The Christian church full is of, full of women. Full of single women. Single like, sorry, women. And you know full what? of single women. He not only want to keep that money, but he want to keep that honey. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know he probably got him some honey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? The man of the woman. He probably got both. He got both. He got, both. Of honey. He got a light <laughs> honey and a if you, have, <laughs> both of them. if you wear both tight them. pants with heels on, now I <laughs> seen a video oh, of her Frank dancing with heels on. Hey. <laughs> He got the he got the homemade honey and the max manufactured honey. Right, right. The synthetic, <laughs> Both. synthetic honey. I can't bees on what? I almost said I can't believe it, but I believe I like Christianity, bro. Christianity, bro. Oh, I, we asking we 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 asking our people to come out of Christianity is evil, and the head of Christianity is Kirk Franklin. He the face of Christianity. You no, know, Bishop yeah. asked the Christian church to join us. <laughs> yeah. He said, he said, join us. It, all the other, just join yeah. them. All you Israelites, join us. We, right. we want y'all to come. All you right. people come in on. the Christian church, 99% of the black folk in the Christian church are Israelites. Are more. Yeah. That's right. Facts. That's right. Are more. Facts. And you're yeah. in the midst of idolatry. You yeah. in the midst of idolatry, man. <laughs> hey, go back, go back to that video. Let them finish. Let's finish it out that they're fulfilling God's will for their lives, but they are, they are, they are fulfilling man's dogma. You what? can be what? single and be used by God. You can be single and what? have purpose. Being married is not a prerequisite for God's hand on your life. It you is not, stop. but we've weaponized it. And then hey, hey, look, I'm through with it, bro. But you're not telling people to stop uh, having, having sex, sex Kurt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not doing it. You, right. You're teaching our women to be whores, bro. You saying that you can have sex and not be married? That what you saying? What he that trying what you saying? He's he trying to he's fill crafty. his church up with some celebrities and stuff like that. Mm. High value people because all the celebrities saying the same thing he's saying. Right. Mm. You know. Yeah. All the celebrities against marriage. against marriage. Yeah. So Kirk Franklin is saying you don't have to be married to get right with God, but he's saying he's not saying you can't I have sex, sex now. Right. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Right. So like what he's doing. He's saying it without saying. He's saying yeah. that you can be a whoremonger. Right. Yeah, he's strengthening book? the hands of the evil. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's strengthening the oh, hands. Oh, man, the book Bishop always bring up and say, hey, do they read Paul, but they. Oh, say, yeah. Boy, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They live godly yeah. lives. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, right. right. I you must live they a godly life. Right. At the end of the you day. must live a godly life. You must keep the commandments of God. Give me that. Give me Brother Deuteronomy 22 Titus. 14. Okay, if you ain't getting married, if you're not married, you still must keep the commandments of God right. with the faith in Christ. Give me Deuteronomy Ooh. 22, 14. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 14. Okay. Bring it out. And give occasions of speech against her. No, no I'm sorry. Uh, give me uh, yeah, Revelation, Revelation 22. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I said Deuteronomy. My fault. Revelation. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 22. I said it again. Revelation 22, 14. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his commandments. You see that? You want to be blessed? Do the commandments of God. Read on. <laughs> that they may have right to the tree of life. Then you have right to the tree of life. If you do the commandments of God, if you're not going to get married, you can't be a whoremonger. You can't have sex. Right. No. No, sis. That what Kirk Franklin is telling you. Is scrape death. Mm -hmm. Cause the scripture say ain't no homung gonna get the kingdom. Right. Read on. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Read on, watch this though. Read. For without a dog. If you if you if you're not keeping the commandments of God, you are a dog. Read on. And sorcerers. Uh-huh. And whoremongers. The sorcerers is the, the, the Christian church is sorcery. Right. Evil. Read on. And whoremongers. And what? And whoremongers. And whoremongers. Read on. And murderers. Uh -huh. And idolaters. Read on. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. You see that? Kirk Franklin making lies. Mm -mm. Turning our women into whores. That's mm -mm. what you're doing, Kirk. That's exactly what you're doing. 